Hi, welcome back to the Mass Learning Groups. Today we are going to continue with our PSLE heuristic lesson. So, uh, so we are going to look at ratio. Okay, ratio is one of the very simple topics to master. Uh, but actually, ratio is also considered as a method that you can use to solve uh, difficult problems. So there are different ways that you can use ratio to solve difficult problems. So one of the ways that we can use ratio is when we see something that's fixed. So, uh, and this question usually uh, belong to the 4 mark, 5 mark question, or the, they are the more complicated kind of questions. So when you see something fixed and constant, then you can think about ratio. For example, if you look at, uh, look at the example that there is over here, now, uh, Ivana has $189 and Jamie has $93 at the end of January. Starting from February, Ivana Right, I'm gonna say four dollars every week. So there's something fixed over here. Right, no matter uh, that every week, I'm gonna will always say four dollars, which is constant. Right, there's no change in the money that she that she that he saved. So so every week is gonna be four dollars, and Jamie saved ten dollars every week. So again, there's something constant. There's something fixed. So when you see something fixed over here, then you can use ratio to represent them, represent their savings, and Jamie wants to have the same. The same total money as Ivana. So how many weeks does Jamie need to save so that she will have the same total money as Ivana? So it can be a very complicated problem if you don't know that you can use ratio. So how do we use ratio to represent their savings? <coughs> so let's write down the ratio. So Ivana is to Jamie. Ivana save four dollars every week, and Jamie save ten dollars every week. So every time you have ratio, you have to simplify the ratio so that you have smaller numbers to work with. So you divide by 2 and divide by 2, you get 2 is to 5. And uh, what do you call them? You can call them units. So ratio are, are, rep are represented by units. So what does this tell you? It tells you that Ivana must have saved 2 units of money no matter how many weeks later. And Jamie must have saved 5 units of money no matter how many weeks later. Uh, which means that whether it's five weeks later, Ivana will save two units, uh, and uh, whether it's ten weeks later, Ivana will also save two units. <coughs> Same for Jamie. Whether it's twenty weeks later, Jamie will save five units. Uh, whether it's going to be hundred weeks later, Jamie will also save five units of money. Okay. So once you have used ratio, or once you have written our ratio, then how do we continue? I'm going to draw a model because model is by far the most common method that we can use to solve many problems. So I will use model to, to help me, right, to help me to represent this, to draw out this problem. And then I'm going to put the ratio into the model. So Ivana has $189 and Jamie has $93. So you can draw a comparison model. So Ivana has $189 and Jamie has $93 at first and they are going to save some money every week, right? So after so many weeks, what, what's going to happen? Uh, Jamie is going to have the same total money as Ivana. So there's something called equal. Tot same total means equal. So when there's an equal concept, or there's the same concept, or equal, equal means the same. So when there's an equal concept, there's a dotted line that I will draw, and I will extend their rectangles until the dotted line to show that they have equal amounts of money in the end. So bottom line is very useful to represent equal concept. All right, so Ivana is gonna save two units of money after some weeks, and Jamie is gonna save five units of money after the same number of weeks, right? And then they will have equal amounts of money in the end. So the model is done, and uh, by looking at the model, you can tell easily how to solve already. You just have to compare the differences you find the difference between the money. So you take 189 and you minus 93 and you will get $96. And then you find the difference in the units. So you have a uh, 5 unit minus 2 unit that will give you 3 units. And your 3 units is also equal to $96. So you can find 1 unit. So 1 unit will be 96 and then divide by 3. So you will get $32, which is one unit. So the purpose of model drawing is to get the one unit, to find how much is one unit. Then you can use that to solve the problem. So how many weeks does Jamie, Jamie need to save so that she is going to have the same money as Ivana? So you will need to find how much is five units. 
So Jenny is going to say 5 units, which is how much? So your 5 unit will be 32 times 5, so that will be $160. So Jenny has to save $160, and then she will have the same total money as Ivana. Then how many weeks does it take her to save $160? Then you look at the question. Jenny saved $10 every week and she needs to save $160. So how many weeks will, will that take her? So you divide by 10, $10, and that will give you 16 weeks. So Jenny or Jamie will need 16 weeks to save $160 and you solve the problem. So over here, you can see that uh, if you don't understand ratio or if you don't know that there's something fixed over here, then what happens? It will become quite hard to solve. But once you understand that there's a, something fixed and you can use ratio, then the entire problem can become easier. And, uh, and how to make it easier? You also have to use our model. You can have a model drawing to, to support your ratio. So together with the ratio and the model, you use it to solve the problem. Right, so that is how you use ratio to solve uh, one kind of problem. And you can also use ratio to solve different kinds of problem. Uh, but we will not go into those other kinds. Uh, just for the lesson today, we are just going to look at something fixed. And when you see something fixed, just rem remember to use ratio. Alright, okay, so we come to the end of our heuristic lesson. So stay tuned to the next heuristic lesson. And uh, hopefully at the end of all these lessons, you will be a bit more confident to solve harder problems. Alright, so see you in the next lesson.